G'day, my name's Steve Walters. Thanks for watching. This little episode we're going to put together now is the evolution of the Blue Gen 2 wire spinner. So you can see that this is a little bit beat up. It's um, one we've had working in the field for a couple of months now and it's just going fantastic. But I want to show you where the ideas came from. So shall we go and have a look? <laughs> yeah! Righto, this is a um, very early prototype. So this never actually made it in production, but you can see what we were thinking here. So this is a drum brake out of a, a Mini. Um, it had an actuating arm there. We had um, the one piece design, which we've stuck with, but no outside ring. So you had a, a top piece to trap the wire in, um, which we found we didn't need. Uh, but yeah, too heavy and clunky and we had to get mini brakes. So never really got off the ground, but it was a sort of a proof of principle. 2.1. Right, move over to version 2.2. So we're still in the very prototype. Didn't get a lot of use, didn't work all that well. But you can see some of the design concepts starting to form up. So the, the four arms, internal ring, still going with the, the one piece design without a, an outside ring. But you can see here a push rod brake. So as we, as you pull, it releases the brake. It's not supposed to happen anyway. Um, so in here is the, the critical bit. And we actually had this internal brake design for quite a few years. So as you pulled on the wire, pulled the brake in, released the brake and it spun freely. So all the design concepts are there pretty well. We're gonna designate this 3.0. So my editors asked me to explain how I work out this numbering system. So the way it goes is, so a one dot something, a two dot something, and a three dot something, that's a major change. And then all your 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 are small incremental changes within that overall design. So this now is 3.0, which means it's a major step forward. And this is, for all intensive purposes, our current model up until two months ago. You've got the pickup arm, which has been dropped down to be closer to the wire. You've got the outside ring, which is the, the rolled 25 by 25. Inside ring, you've got the brake arm that actually actuates on the, on the outside ring instead of that internal brake ring that we looked at before. Exit roller. The only difference between this and the just superseded model is we used to fabricate these in the workshop. Um, once we discovered laser cutting, it changed the way we fabricate stuff. But none of the dimensions has changed between 3.0 and 3.1. So that brings us to 3.1. Up until two months ago, our current wire spinner, the Blue Jenny wire spinner. So the only differences between this model and 3.0 is that we went to laser cutting. So I've got laser cutting arms. Um, which is one piece right through instead of the fabrication. Uh, pickup arm is very similar, but we've lifted it slightly. The brake is slightly different. There's a, a, again, laser cut pieces all put together, whereas this was more fabrication and bending. But process is the same, or it works the same. It's on bearings. You pull the brake, you pull the wire to release the brake. Spins out, has been working really well very happy with that for a lot of years we did however have issues that we weren't able to resolve um, if the coil did tangle it would tangle around the pickup arm or around the brake arm and invariably it would pull the rollers off um, or you'd end up with a bird's nest so we knew there were issues with it we we were happy with the way it worked under a start stop situation at slow speeds but as soon as you started trying to go too fast it all come unstuck we didn't know how to address that until recently when we we sat down and came up with the idea for the blue gen 2. so we're going to show you a bit of the the testing and a bit of the ideas we came up with to get to the our current model blue gen 2.
<laughs> that was pretty good. The new pre tensioner. See as the tension comes on and off, the top coil pulls in and out. So it's just giving the spinner a bit more time to, um, to start up before the tension comes on. That's what you, happens when you're dead stop at 50k an hour. <laughs> This is a, a major step forward from our Blue Journey wire spinner, the, the three version, up to the four version. So you can see here we've got away from the brake arm, we've got away from the pickup arm. Um, these actuators pull in and release the brake. Um, so yeah, we think this is a huge step forward. But yeah, just wanted to give you an idea of, of the process we've been to to get to where we are today, which I believe is the, the best wire spinner that you can buy. Um, it's the one we like to use and it's <laughs> pretty good.